It's not often I have um, a piece of paper, but um, I've got so many people I want to thank, but I'm not going to keep you here all day. I just don't want to lose my way. Um, my journey started with... Did I, was that really loud then? Um, my, my journey with Forever started uh, 17 years ago. My background um, is hair and beauty. Um, and I'd been out of the industry for quite a while. I had uh, quite rusty in it, so I realized that when I became a single parent and I needed to look for a way of supporting myself and the children, but very importantly for me, to have that time as a mum, I realized I couldn't go into an industry I'd been out of for a long time. So I had to start looking for something different. Now, um, I've got, well, at the particular time when I looked at Forever, the, the children, I've got triplets, and they were three and a half years of age. And yes, I've got triplets that born on April Fool's Day, so. <laughs> but um, for me, uh, the first area to thank would be the family, because without the children, and that's um, Ollie, Tom, Chloe, the triplets, Max, our youngest, and Aaron, my stepson. The five of them has always kind of been there to keep us on, on track because sometimes you need other people to keep you on the track that you're starting to lose way on. And when you've got little children giving you a briefcase, telling you to go out because they need that quad bike, it's quite a little bit of a motivation. So that's how the children helped and they still continue to, to do so today. So um, for me, I needed to find something that I could find flexible around, around the children and that's exactly exactly what Forever's given us. It's given us the, the time, because so many people are, are, are time poor. Um, it's given us choices, choices in where, where we live, where we educate our children. And that was one of the biggest things for me. It was uh, my, my reason. I wanted to be able to educate all the children privately, very similar to, to Adam. And, you know, with the five children, we have three still in university and uh, one still in private education. So be able to educate our children privately and live where we want to live. In fact, we took a sabbatical for four years and lived in Spain. Why? Because we could. And that's a great feeling. So, thank you to the family for keeping me on track. I'd also like to thank the team. First of all, the five managers, uh, frontline managers. Um, our new newest manager is Vicky over in Greece. That's why we weren't here up on stage last month, because I was over there supporting Vicky. And with the e economic downturn that we know that's happening in Greece, fascinating when I look at the team over there. All professional individuals, doctors, accountants, therapists. You know why? Because they can see this as something they can get their teeth into. So that to, to, to Vicky. Also to Hans and Marion van der Ven over in the Benelux. We have a huge business over there. Also to our UK managers, uh, Sally Catling. Also to Emma and Steve Barker Hall. And Christine and Mike Thompson, who are our first manager leg. But it's not just to those managers. We have a Sapphire manager three senior managers, over 60 managers in our downline all over the world. And from that, that brings security and stability. But to all the team, especially Team Lincoln, where's, where's Lincoln? <laughs> Um, also to the team in the Midlands, um, to Trudin Hugh down in the south for sticking at it, um, to Angela for sticking at it, but there's also people in the team that inspire, uh, inspire us all the time. And one very special lady, Sue Vincent, who's still here today, because she doesn't realise how she's inspired us with her courage. She's so inspirational to everybody. She just sticks at it, come what may. I'd also like to thank head office staff, uh, for all the support they've done, especially to the girls in the events department, Helen and also Sophie. You there, Soph? Looks after me. <laughs> Though am I trained? <laughs> Eating chocolate, probably, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, you sometimes need to have somebody to give you a kick up the bum. Well, there's no better person that can do that than our great friend, Adam May. Um, he's very good at kicking people up the bum telling them how to keep on track. And he's very simple with his words. You know, over the years when we've said, it's not working, Adam. You know, it's really our team aren't, aren't building. And all, he, all he's ever said to us is, hmm. <laughs> Go and sponsor a new team. And that's exactly what we did. So, um, and also, I'd just like to say, John and Jane, um, they're not here today, but, you know, Crossline has also been very important as well. Um, and they've uh, always given us, like, little words of, uh, of, of advice and wisdom. And also, uh, also to the Destiny team, 
um, to Paul and Claire and all the team in Derby and Nottingham who we work very closely with. So thank you all and everybody. We love you. Thank you.